Hey, it's JC here at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore, 6725 West Central Avenue is Toledo, Ohio, 4361741935316097. JC's Comics and More at hotmail.com. Then also find JC's Comics and More on Instagram and also on Facebook. Uh, Find the Facebook link in the description below for for that information. Uh, like the, happy Easter, everybody! This is Easter Sunday. I'm in here doing my thing, uh, bringing comics to people that are in town that uh, uh, need to get a break from their families. Uh, coming in here to to purchase some stuff. We've got. Uh, the new Marvels and DCs we're doing, uh, we'll be doing today. We'll be doing those. And then also, I got some reorders in, like this Daredevil lunchbox. With, I think it's Frank Frank Miller. Oh, no, it's John Romita Jr. with Claus Jansen. And we're going to open this thing up so we can take a look at the thermos inside. Because they all come with cool thermoses. And they're all, of course, embossed in that metal. Look at that. There he is. There's old Hornhead by John Jr. We're going to pause, and I'm going to move on to the next thing. The next lunchbox over here is the old Knucklehead himself, Wolverine. Uh, it's got John some artwork there. I think that's Jim Lee there. We're going to... Uh, check out the uh, the uh, thermos there, but also we got in uh, this epic collection, Guardians of the Galaxy. That is a volume one. It has Marvel superheroes eighteen, Marvel two and one, four and five, giant size Defenders five, Defenders twenty six through twenty nine, Marvel presents three through twelve, and Thor annual six. And we also got this uh, little mini Marvel Masterworks with uh, Thor uh, as him versus the Hulk. I believe this would be considered probably Volume Two, if I um, if I remember correctly. So let's check out the thermos for Wolverine here. And that's got Jim Lee artwork in it too. So you get the Jim Lee artwork there. Look at that Wolverine. We're gonna put that back away and we're gonna check out a couple of the other thermoses. A couple of the other thermoses I got are reorders. How you doing, Matt? Happy Easter. Alright, we've got those over here. We've got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cover number one back in stock. Oh, uh, we did do the uh, thermos on one of the other unboxing videos. We've got more of the Secret Wars uh, thermoses in also. The thermos itself has all the covers to Secret Wars in it. But very cool. And the Todd McFarlane Amazing Spider-Man uh, thermos. There you got lots of great Todd artwork there. And then the other side you got the cover to issue 300. I'm going to pause really quickly here. We've got uh, some reorders in. Uh, I did not know this was even still available. The uh, Frank Miller, Jeff Darrow, uh, and uh, 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 Stuart uh, uh, Hard Boiled. This initially was always in a larger format. But Jeff Darrow, man, that guy, he can fill a page. Look at that. You can stare at that thing for an hour. Just look at all the detail he puts in this thing. I'm looking forward. To, I haven't read uh, Hard Boiled in in an age. I'm looking forward to uh, to reading this once again. Uh, I was very surprised to get more copies of Venom Lethal Protector 1. These are the first printings. They are doing second printings. Uh, we got the Magic Order 4, number 3. I think that's for... Uh, I think that's for... Uh, I know who that's for. Uh, Masquerade, number four. This is a Kevin Smith book. 
Uh, I cannot remember who I ordered that for, though. Uh, we did get in uh, Roman Dirge uh, Lenore. Somebody was asking about Lenore, so we got a, a purple Nurple here for you. Waiting, waiting here. Nice hardcover. And then I think I may have talked about these before, but we got these these great books here. Captain America, the first 80 years, and Fantastic Four, the first 60 years. These are great reference material books. Uh, anyone that's a good a fan, or you've got a... You've got a son, daughter, niece, nephew, grandson, granddaughter. You know, give them this. They'll soak this stuff up. Yeah. That stuff is just amazing. Um, oh, no, I guess it's fantastic. It's not amazing because I don't have Spider-Man here, right? So I can't say that. Got great John Byrne artwork there from issue 252. But, again, just look at this stuff. I need to, I need to order a copy for myself. Get a copy of this myself. Ah, oh, this, yeah. Okay, let's grab the DC stuff now. Yes. Here we've got Mad, number 31. Uh, pokes uh, fun at uh, medicine. I think you've got... You've got Dr. Zoyenberg there. You've got the guys from Scrubs. You've got Dr. McCoy. You've got Grey's Anatomy. I don't know if that's supposed to be Doogie Hauser or maybe it's supposed to be Doogie. Uh, but uh, Alfred E. Newman wants them to take his temperature. And they don't want to take that temperature. Now in the back, you see great moments in, in medicine. And the old man dies when he gets, uh, gets the bill. Here we have Batman Incorporated number seven with Mr. Pig on the front. There is a B cover on that. We get the Batman Scooby Doo Mysteries number seven of 12. Batman The Adventures Continue season three, cover A. There's the B cover. I think that's Claus Jansen. Kind of looks like Claus Jansen. It might not be. But this right here, the really cool Brian Bolland cover. Look at that. Give me Brian Bolland all day long. Again, a lot of these uh, current artists, uh, if they only learned uh, just a fraction of what Brian Bolland knows, they would be a great artist. We've got Born in Blood, number six. Uh, not from DC, but it's from Lunar. That's the cover A. The B cover, although I think that should be a D cover. Uh, wouldn't you agree? That probably should be a D cover there, Mr. Matt. That's not a B cover. That's, that should be... That should be a D cover there. And then you got the C. That's a double D. Yeah, that would be that too. And that's no terrible. Uh, you got Danger Street number four. Where's the number on this thing at? Uh, oh, part five. Danger Street five. Uh, and that's the B cover. They got Lazarus Planet, Revenge of the Gods, number three. It looks like uh, the Shazam has... Uh, has drained old Billy and uh, and has gone bad. Imagine that. Good guy going bad. That's never been done ever, ever, ever before. Maybe maybe four or, six, four or five times. That is the B cover. Here we got the uh, Harley Quinn screws up the DCU, the Multiversity book. Cover A, great Amanda Connor cover. There is the B cover. Look, you got Batmite in there. Same Man Universe, Nightmare County, The Glass House, number one. Cover A and B. And that's the Harvester of Eyes right there. Superman Lost, number two of ten. Did you guys read that? What did you think of it? Let me know in the comments below. There is the B cover, Superman sitting in the corner because uh, he got sent home. He didn't, he didn't eat his, uh, his uh, liver and onions, so he had to go sit in the corner. Wildcats number six, cover A and the much better cover B. We're going to grab the Marvel books next. That's what a lot of them look like. Man. Sometimes, yes they do. Or Power Rangers people. Like uh, the like the uh, Gold Goblin. Uh, here is the yeah. Marvels. we got Bloodline number three, Daughter of Blade. Anyone reading this? Anybody at all? Anyone at all? Let me hear it. Let me... Let me let me let me hear who's reading this because I'm hearing crickets these days. That's cover A, cover B. Captain America, Cold War. This is the Alpha. No, which one's the Alpha? That's a this is a crossover with the other comics.
But here is the best thing about that Captain America Cold War. This Alex Ross, Baron Zemu cover. Man, he's just evil. Look at him. You can see that in his eye. Man, I've been watching videos of that man painting his, his artwork. I need to watch those. He I need is a, a, a craftsman at work. He's a master he, craftsman. Alex is a professional, man. That dude... Uh, I think that he, will, he worked in advertising before he uh, got right? into comics, yeah, in the Chicago area. He's on so many covers now. He could probably do those things in his sleep, damn near. Here's the Marvel Icon variant for Cap. Here is a another variant on that Captain America Cold War. Captain Marvel, Carol Danvers, two issues left to go. Boy, oh boy, I don't know if it can come soon enough, right? Because this book just doesn't sell either. There's the Groot cover. There's the new Carnage, Carnage number 12. This leads right into the Carnage Alpha. Is that what it's called? Let's see, Carnage. Carnage Reigns Alpha leads into it. It was uh, pretty pretty decent. I was, I was happy with it. And there is another Alex Ross Hella. You know, she is the goddess of death. So I guess it'd be appropriate that for her to be on Carnage. But look at that. Again, this stuff is so cool, man. It's so cool. I'm going to say that's a 1 in 10 design variant. Fantastic Four. Speaking of Alex Ross, man, this is my... I might as well just call this the Alex Ross video. Uh, new Fantastic Four. Look at those colors. Look at that the sky. It's just... He is uh, the... the uh, 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 the Rockwell for the uh, the Norman Rockwell for comics. That he's Norman. He's comics is Norman Rockwell. And there's another one. There's Annihilus. Look at him. Look at that. You know, you can just just sends 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 goops up your back because he's so inhuman and insect like and and he just wow. There's another Fantastic Four variant. Here is the new Guardians of the Galaxy number one, brand new series. Again, who is looking forward to this? Who cannot wait to get their hands on some Guardians? And speaking of uh, more Alex Ross, there he is, Doctor Doom. There's there's the the world's best supervillain. Uh, some say the Joker. Eh, no, no, no. I'm sorry, Doctor Doom. Sorry. Sorry, Dr. Doom. He, Joker wants to kill people. Dr. Doom wants to rule the world. He wants to rule the world. He wants to rule the galaxies. Uh, but that there looks like that was a little bit of John Byrne influence. If you look at the hand, that hand is all John Byrne all the way, all day, every day. Speaking of great artwork, there's a Derek Chu cover. Derek Chu's going to be doing lots of covers on some upcoming issues. I saw his Scarlet Witch cover on issue one. He's doing a magic cover. Oh, gosh, what else is he doing? He's doing an electric cover on not the next issue. Of, I think it might be maybe the next issue of Dirt, if not the next, the one after that. That dude can draw some babes. You know, I don't, uh, I'm not taking anything away from Art Germ, but Derek Chu can, he can eat them up, man. There's a Scotty Young, a couple of Scotty Youngs uh, this week. There's a, another Groot cover. There's the, I don't know, it's, uh, that's Adam Warlock. They could have gotten a better actor rather than the the boy who uh, got a tarantula that bit his junk on that uh, on that RV movie where they went down with uh, Jennifer uh, Aniston. Uh, I think that is the 1 in 25 variant on that one there. Here we've got the Marvel's Voices, Spider-Verse. Uh, we got the multiple covers. I did not buy many of these at all. Those Voices books, I'm sorry, they don't sell. The people that they target it towards don't buy them. I'm sorry. The same with the DC ones. They don't sell. And I'm tired of eating $10 comics. Is that one ten dollars? Let me see. Let me just make sure. Yeah, ten dollar comics. So I buy very little these days. I'm tired of eating ten dollar comics. That uh, that money adds up quick. But there's that cover. There's a silk cover, and there is a uh, speed demon on the front there. And uh, I think that's uh, Bianca Belair because she's got the got the long hair there. 
Uh, we're going to grab the next group of Marvel comics. Okay, we've got the new Miles Morales Spider-Man number 5. Uh, this is going to tie in with the whole Carnage Alpha as well. Yeah, Carnage Reigns, uh, so Miles is going to be a big part of that. But there's the cover A. That's their, trying to be their defining moment uh, to show uh, Miles that he's, uh, how powerful like Spidey was in Amazing Spider-Man number 32. Uh, and Alex Ross again, Electro, look at him. Man, you can just feel that electricity just crackling off of him. Oh, Max Dillon, man. One of my favorite Spidey villains. There's another uh, variant cover there. Uh, he's got a little baby in his hand as he's swinging out the uh, uh, burning building there. Here we have Moon Knight number 22 with Tigra. And she's all covered up now. She wouldn't be all covered up. She'd be wearing that that little bikini that she wore because she's a, a feline. She doesn't want to have be constricted. Another Alex Ross cover, the Kingpin. Look at him. Ugh. See, look at me. Just, just look at the look at the look on his face. That he knows he's better than you. He's better than you. You're, you're, you, you're, you're not even. You're what's beneath him on the bottom of the shoe that he scrapes off. Look at him, Wilson Fisk. What a tubby, tubby man. Uh, there's a another variant. I'm not sure what to think of that variant. Predator number two, the new Predator series issue number two, and now they're doing that. That's kind of cool that they're that they're putting that up there, and you got, they got Marvel hidden down here. We'll put Marvel down there, hide that. So you think it's a 20th century comic? Well, it is kind of a 20th century comic, right? And there's a really cool cover. That should have been the A cover. That should have been the A. That should not have been the B cover. Silver Surfer Ghost Light, not the Bud Light, uh, number three, cover A. And B. Who's reading this? Lots of Star Wars comics this week. We got Star Wars Bounty Hunters number 33. That is the 11 of 40 for the Return of the Jedi uh, variant covers. Yoda's Goodbye. Look at him. He's all. And Luke's like, man, I don't want to change his diaper again. Uh. You got to, has to do it, right? Somebody has to do it. It's a dirty job, man. Ugh. He's going to get R2 to do it. And R2 is going to be like... Bleep, 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 bleep. He just runs away and hides. It's like, you know... <laughs> R2's like, no, no. That's not, that's not what my job purpose is. You got Dr. Alfrak. Hidden Empire tie-in. Uh, the Final Fate. There is cover 12 of 40 for the... Return of the Jedi from a certain point of view. Uh, Luke's been on that planet for too long. He's been inhaling those gases from the from the bogs and everything, and he's he's seeing Ben now. He's he's hallucinating. hallucinating. He ate the brown acid. Star Wars Ewoks new miniseries with those fuzzy little crazy little cannibalistic creatures because they're they're eating people. Oh, is that Kyle? I think that's Kyle Holtz. Is that Kyle Holtz? Oh, that's Kyle Holtz artwork. I didn't even know about that. Oh, man. How cool. Wow, there he is. Again, I'll say it. As I've said it time and time again. Kyle Holtz is one of the Are most most underrated uh, yeah. artists these days. Uh, as far as words, it looks like no. No, it's this. It's, just, uh, it's all. It's going to be yeah. fun in games. It's going to be fun in games. I guess so. You know, the, the artists are the ones writing the story. There's a wraparound, or that's a connecting cover. Uh, the first one had from Jabba's Palace. There is a Peach Momoko cover. Actually, this is pretty good. And I'm surprised, man. It has backgrounds. It's not just white with, like, a little taking the taking the uh, the, the water uh, the watercolor brush and doing a Hunter Biden. And, and charging $750,000. There's that one there. Look at them. They're all standing around the fire and stuff. And I, I don't know. Would those Ewoks get that close to that fire? Because they're all furry and everything. And boy, oh boy, one of them gets caught up in the fire. And whoosh, next thing you know, that force is burning down. And Smokey the Bear is, is, is crying again. Uh, Star Wars The Hidden Empire number eight. Yes, here's what you guys want. 
and the cover B. Storm and the Brotherhood of Mutants, number three, this last issue of the series. And speaking of Storm, there's going to be a brand new Storm series coming out uh, in a couple of months. And I saw the Art Germ cover. It's, I think it's kind of like anything unlike Art Germ's done before. It's so cool. There is the B cover. Got Odin in the back there. And uh, this almost looks like it. Maybe it's Emma Frost. Maybe. Uh, we've got X-Men number 21. This is part of that whole Revenge of the Brood storyline. Crossing over with Captain Marvel. There's another Brood cover with uh, no Kazar, but you got Zabu there. And you've got that cover there. And I'm not buying, I'm not buying um, Kid Kid Brood as being the leader of the Brood. No, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying what they're selling. There's a Scotty Young magic cover. And again, as I spoke before, there's going to be a Derek Chu magic cover. So you know that's going to, that's going to be money, man. Money. Speaking of money, we got a whole bunch of uh, X-Men number ones in. And usually these things sell for $80,000. But I'm going to sell them to you for three ninety nine. dollars Wink, wink. Uh, this is the facsimile edition, of course. Of course. It's not the additional. But it does have all the ads you know, you can get rewarded $11,750 for this coin. Well, you know, go find that coin. Um, there you got you record your voice at home. You got all kinds of pennies. Uh, look, look at this here. Godzilla. Godzilla grows his own tail. No, it's a grog grows his own tail. Look, you look at this as a kid. It's like, man, I'm going to buy it. It looks like a dinosaur. And it's a little, it's a little, uh, you know, little... Uh, chameleon, American chameleon. And boys sell grit. They sure do. And down in the south, they eat grits. Uh, X-23 Deadly Genesis number two. Who is Haymaker? Uh, hopefully it's not uh, Ghost Maker. Cover A and B. It's not a bad B. Uh, although there should be blood. If, if those dudes are dead, there should be, should be blood. should be like that scene in Pulp Fiction. <laughs> <laughs> you must have hit a bump or something. I didn't hit no bump. Uh, but that's it for this here. Hope everybody has a great, happy Easter. I'd like to give a big shout out to Matt. Brought me some uh, Spyro turkey. Now I'm going to eat it. Mm -mm, good. Thank you, sir. Everybody, uh, if you've not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notification. Like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.